I think it's a real tribute to what we've achieved in Leeds. Myself as a leader, we've managed to transform the city, made it more dynamic, more successful, more inclusive, and it's also been a, a city that welcomes people from all backgrounds and all nationalities. That to me is recognition of the work I've been involved with and contributing to. Well, I started off in local government at a very low level as a manual worker, driver, uh, but collecting pennies from toilets. And uh, I found out how important local government was, not only in shaping our great cities, but actually in providing vital services to protect our vulnerable uh, people. That inspired me to go and learn a bit more about local government, to take an academic route at the age of 26, and to continue to contribute to the local government work of our cities. Well, I've had a number of great moments. The Grand Depart is obviously one of the most noted. Some of the buildings that we've had, some of the success with the uh, digital work that we've been doing. But without doubt, for me, the proudest work was actually introducing a living wage to our low paid workers who work extremely hard in keeping our city clean or keeping our children fed. And it was a real inspiration for me to do something like that that gave dignity and reward to people who do those unsung jobs. Never underestimate how far you can go and continue to work as hard as you can because you never actually know when you set off your journey where the end stop is. And I was fortunate to rise from a, from a manual worker right through to being leader of a great council in Leeds. So my advice is don't give up keep working and keep, keep your values and your principles. For the graduates, it's going to be a, an unknown journey, but keep the focus. I would love them to stay in Leeds because we're a city that welcomes people from all backgrounds, from all nationalities, and I think they can actually join us in the journey in transforming Leeds and continuing Leeds' success, particularly in the health sector where we're looking at new ways of providing health services to our communities.